If you're planning to meet up on Tuesday, then I'll most likely be free. Uh, alright. Maybe we can do it next week then. <laughs> you know what? That was a very valid response. Thank you so much for telling me that. Honestly. You ever think you have a good idea, but then when you try to flesh it out, you slowly come to the realization that you actually have no idea what you're doing? Took me a year to figure that out. <clears throat> 2019 was the last time I made a film, so two years later, I want to see if I can dust off my skills once more and make not only a short, but a short film. Based on what I was able to do last time, I should have been able to do a 10 minute short film in at most 4 months. Keyword, was. See, I was not the same person I was in 2019. Nor was I the same person when I made this film. Hell, I'm not even the same person I am now. See, I have standards, okay? You see? I already knew how to create a script, write out a storyboard, and overall get a sense of direction on how the story is going to be told. However, I did want to expand more upon the dialogue, the character development, and the movement of the scenes. And to that I say, based on the film, I kind of just failed in all three sectors. See, when it comes to movement, first of all, you have to have the proper equipment that can handle that. This is a Canon Rebel T4i, released in 2012. This baby can record at 1080p at its best, which isn't very often. Can autofocus on subjects very slowly, and of course, has image stabilization. You see in the film. Honestly, I thought this camera had no limits whatsoever, when in fact, I was supposed to be testing out those limits before production even began, not during. Did I mention this camera records audio? That's right, this lavalier microphone is perfect for capturing audio on people who are standing completely still. And with a film where I'm constantly wanting to move, this was obviously going to be a problem because you would hear this noise. But the good thing I already suspected that to be a problem because my potential solution was to use ADR, or Audio Dialogue Replacement, aka dubbing, aka what the big boys in Hollywood be doing. Well it turns out, ADR is meant to be used as a last ditch effort to fix poor audio, not the go-to solution to change every single line. The answer again, is to work within your equipment's limitations. That's, or just use equipment that is more suited to your needs. That, or take a voice acting class. But, speaking, speaking of actors, <coughs> excuse me, but anyways, I wrote way too many characters. I had to stretch out my screen time between each character's way too thin, which meant it was hard for the audience to care about why these characters were even talking about in the first place. Another problem I also introduced is that I had to find a bunch of voice actors to fill in those roles. And to everyone who actually accepted my request to do voices on this move film, you know, you're a real one. And thanks for taking such a big risk on a dumpster fire like this. But another problem that could have been avoided was I filmed everything before I even got the chance to receive all the voice actors' lines. So, my solution then was to ask for multiple takes of varying degrees in terms of how fast, how slow the intonations of the, the speech for the voice actors were, and then just try to mix two pieces together in a way that almost seems right, but if you saw the film, it just felt slightly off. But that is just my problem with the mentality of, we'll fix it in post. So you fix the image stabilization in, in post, the bad movement in post, the bad screenplay in post, and now you also have to do audio dialogue replacement in post.
and that would make one completely messy film. Did I learn anything? Probably. Am I going to make the same mistakes again? Almost definitely. But one thing's for certain, I am not ending my film career on this final short. So, stay tuned or whatever for stuff I'm going to create, which will definitely not take another year or so. Okay, you can go now.